The total solar eclipse of April 8, 2024, now less than 50 days away. And even though it's not quite within range of the 10 day forecast, the WTOL 11 weather team is here to prepare you for the weather conditions you may expect on April 8th. So in this week, we're going to break down what are our chances of sunshine? Fingers crossed we can enjoy a crystal clear sky to enjoy totality here across Northwest Ohio. We're going to break down the data and the climatology looking at the past few years and also our averages for early April. April and whether or not you can expect sunshine come April 8th. So let's delve into the data here for April 8th climatology and what are the odds that we get bright, beautiful sunshine for the total solar eclipse. Now this path of totality is going to span across a good portion of the country from Texas all the way up through Ontario in Canada. So what are the odds of sunshine? Well, across the Great Lakes region, the odds are relatively low of getting full on sun. This map shows you the chances of a fully sunny day. Now, now in portions of the southwestern United States, that orange color shows you where the odds are 70% or greater of getting full brilliant sunshine. And that does include some cities in the path of totality, including Dallas and Austin, where the chances are over 50 to 70% that the sky will be crystal clear and blue. Up towards the Mississippi River Valley, some parts of southern Illinois have about a 30 to 50% chance of sunshine, indicated by that yellow color, where it's about 50-50. Now across the Midwest and the Great Lakes region, the odds are a little bit more bleak. Those shades of gray across Ohio and Michigan indicate where the chances of full on sunshine are only a 10 to a 30%. And you'll notice downwind of the lake towards Eastern Ohio, that lighter gray color shows you where the chances are a little bit better and the chances are not quite as good across Northwest Ohio. So statistically, the odds of getting a fully sunny day, not necessarily good. However, even if we could just get the sunshine to peak out during the early to mid afternoon hours. That would certainly make for some great viewing for that total solar eclipse. Now let's look at some of the data over the past several years and the weather that we have experienced on April 8th. Of course, last year we had full on sunshine. It was brilliant and beautiful with no rain. April 8th, 2023 featured blue skies and sunshine. Now the year before would not have been a great year to watch an eclipse. There was rain, there was cloud cover. It was an all around icky early April day. The year prior to that, there was some sunshine, but also some thunderstorms, a very mild April 8th. And in 2020, we had an exceptionally mild one with a mix of sun and storms and also a little bit of rainfall. Now we can actually look at historical satellite data and show you what the clouds looked like on those days. Now last year, you'll notice over almost the entire Buckeye State, there was no cloud cover. The white color shows you clouds that were further to the south and southeast. Looking back towards 2022, well, that one was not quite as good across the Great Lakes region. That white color indicates a thicker blanket of cloud cover. 2021 was interesting because there was some cloud cover, but also a few thunderstorms as well. And the year prior to that, 2020, we had mainly sunny skies, but also a few pop up thunderstorms that occurred 2023 full on sunshine. We had fairly pleasant temperatures around 59 degrees, which is par for the course or average for early April. We had those blue vibrant skies in 2023. The year before it was cloudy with rain showers. This would not have been a good year to view the total solar eclipse as we had bleak conditions. It was also a little on the cooler side with a high temperature of 51, even though rainfall only amounted to two hundredths. It was still a dreary and overcast type day. 2021 was exceptionally mild. We were near 80 degrees with the warmest April 8th on record. We'll be talking temperatures in just a bit. Now we saw almost a quarter inch of rainfall, but believe it or not, there was some sunshine. There were also some thunderstorms, and this is a reminder that April does kick off severe weather season, so the chances of storms could be in the mix for April 8th. 2020 was very interesting. It was one of those days where we saw blue skies one minute, a storm the next, and perhaps even a rainbow decorating the sky. We got two hundredths of an inch of rainfall, hardly any at the Toledo Express Airport. There was some sunshine, some storms, and a high temperature of 74. Now it has rained pretty significantly on April 8th in the past. Most recently was 1938, where we got over an inch of rainfall, and that makes it the wettest April 8th on record. 
Fingers crossed for all those tourists coming to Northwest Ohio. There is no rain like that on April 8th. In the end of the 19th century, we got just shy of an inch, 1873. Also on the list, 1991 with 0.99 inches and 1926, 0.98. April is also a rainy time of year. So statistically, there are quite a few years where we got a decent bit of rain on April 8th. Now, what about snowfall? When you think of early spring, you likely don't think of snow, but those who have been residing in Northwest Ohio for many years know all too well that sometimes right when we're ready for spring, Mother Nature has other plans for us. 1957 was historic. On April 8th, we got over half a foot of snow accumulation. 2016 was also noteworthy. You may remember this one close to four inches of snowfall on April 8th, and we also got snow the day after. We're going to be talking about that one in just a sec. 1916, 3.5 inches, and 1985, 1.8 inches of snow accumulation. Now, 2016 was interesting because we not only saw snowfall on April 8th, but also the preceding day on April 9th. When all was said and done, we got 7.8 inches of snow accumulation over the course of 48 hours, and that was the third most snowfall that we have ever recorded during the month of April. Of course, hopefully that doesn't happen, but it was April 8th, 2016 through April 9th, 2016 that we got some unseasonable snowfall during the month of April. All right, let's think warmer temperatures. We talked about 2021 with that historically mild temperature temperature approaching the 80 degree mark. We've never officially hit 80 on April 8th, but we have come close a couple of times 2021 and 2001, each of which recorded a high temperature of 79. In 1969, we got up to 78, 1919, 76, and we had several days all in the mid 70s from the 90s, the 70s, 1981 and 2019. Overall, April weather is growing a bit warmer on average. We've talked about that in the Climate Friday newsletter in the past, but you'll notice these warmest April 8ths both in recent years in the 21st century. As a whole, the warmest April 8th high is shared between 2001 and 2021, 79 degrees, and the coldest our low temperature is plunged. That was 1982. The mercury sunk to 10 degrees. Now, of course, with the eclipse viewing not being until after 3 p.m. in the afternoon, you don't have to worry about that morning low, but it is a reminder that April can be a cold month, especially with those overnight low temperatures being brisk, chilly, and frigid. Now, it's still too early to talk about what this April 8th will have in store. Statistically speaking, April is a month often filled with cloud cover, but as we saw last year, there was full on sunshine for your April 8th. We had blue skies and temperatures in the upper 50s. As the eclipse draws closer, the WTOL 11 weather team will update you on that forecast and keep you posted. You can subscribe to the Climate Friday newsletter at WTOL.com slash email and also WTOL.com slash solar eclipse. That is going to be your hub as you and the family get ready for the big day on April 8th.